Hello everyone and welcome back to This Day in History, our nightly look back at a specific day in history, where we take a look at a specific day in history and examine the events of that day, the historical context in which the events took place, and the historical ramifications of those events. We also take a look at some people that were born on that day and some people that died on that day. As always, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, leave a comment, and tell a friend. And without any further ado, this day in history, February 21st. And on this day in 1848, Frederick Engels and Karl Marx published the Communist Manifesto. It was originally published in German. It would later be translated by Samuel Moore after Marx's death, but Engels approved it and provided notes throughout the text, and it has been standard in the English edition ever since. Uh, this is one of the most controversial books of all time, uh, but it's also one of the most influential political texts of all time. Even those who contend it's very controversial and think that its writings are repulsive have to agree. It's one of the most influential uh, political texts of all time. I certainly think it's um, had horrible effect on human history, but I agree that it is one of the most influential books of all time, and it's also a very easy to read book. It's not very long, and it's not hard to get the concepts that Marx and Engels are trying to get across in their book. Um, it is should be standard reading in any political theory class, uh, science class that discusses theory and um, ideologies. Uh, this book definitely should be read along with The Prince. Uh, it should be read along uh, with uh, Locke. It should be uh, read with uh, Hayek. Uh, I think that this would be the perfect uh, book to put with Hayek. Uh, in Hayek's Road to Serfdom, I think that the Communist Manifesto uh, would be the, the perfect uh, compendium uh, to that. So, one of the most influential books in human history uh, was published on this day in 1848, and the original edition was in German. Births that uh, occurred on this day. If I butcher this name, I apologize. Koichi Anin in 1887 in Tokyo, Japan. He was the Japanese general during World War II and at the time of the surrender of Japan. Uh, he opposed surrender until the end. Only when the emperor demanded surrender did he comply. Um, and he committed suicide uh, the day after uh, the surrender. And... Um, his note's very cryptic. Um, he says, I apologize uh, to my emperor for the great crime. Um, and that's obviously uh, left open to interpretation. Um, his uh, blood-stained sword and suit that he wore at the time of his death um, are now on display at a museum um, in Japan. Some deaths that occurred on this day. Billy Graham in 2018 at the age of 99 in Montree, uh, North Carolina. Of course, Graham was an American evangelist um, who not only preached in America, uh, he preached around the world and um, was a very um, influential force in American life uh, from the late 40s on to the um, to now, to this 21st century, late you know, the mid-21st century. This man's life spanned 10 decades um, and was a counselor um, to many American uh, presidents. In fact, he prayed uh, with 12 American presidents from Barack Obama until... Uh, from Harry Truman to Barack Obama. Um... He uh, was a counselor to them, uh, someone they turned to. 
Uh, Harry Truman, though, was not a fan. Um, even though he prayed with Truman, Truman was not a fan. Um, he also um, was opposed to racial segregation. Even though he was a Southerner, he uh, insisted on that his rallies and crusades uh, be integrated. And the first one that was integrated was in Chattanooga, Tennessee um, in 1954. Um, he also uh, invited Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King uh, to preach with him um, in 1957 in New York City. Uh, Graham is one of three private citizens that have lied in state in the Capitol Rotunda uh, upon his death um, and he probably will be the last. Um, it was somewhat... No one outwardly spoke about it being controversial, but there were some that noted that it was a little, maybe much, uh, to allow him uh, that great honor of lying in state in the Capitol Rotunda um, at the time of his death. Um, he had some controversial views. Um, not without controversial views. Um, he had some very unflattering statements. Um, about Jews and the uh, Jewish people in the um, Nixon tapes that were released. Um, although he believed those quotes were taken out of... Um, context um, and um, he um, also had some views on homosexuality uh, that some would say would be consistent with a biblical view if if that is your line of thought uh, but um, others would say is a, a kind of a regimented view and um uh, would be pushing his personal uh, opinion on other Americans. Um, but um, overall, uh, most people have a positive view of Billy Graham. And uh, so that's all. I will see you all tomorrow.